6 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Hassan Gilani. First, the headlines. Prime Minister has directed Commerce Ministry to devise an action plan to double the country's exports in next five years. Minister for Industries and Production has directed Utility Stores Corporation to ensure quality of flour and other utility items. Polling on vacant seats of Senate was held in National Assembly and Provincial Assemblies of Punjab and Sindh today. Pakistan has unanimously been elected Chairman of the United Nations Disarmament Commission. APHC has criticized Indian government for obliterating identity of Kashmiri people in the illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Israeli forces in their unabated bombardment across Gaza martyred 71 Palestinians during the last 24 hours. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif has directed the Commerce Ministry to devise an action plan to double the country's exports in next five years. During a high-level meeting in Islamabad today on the development of export sector, he asked the ministry to submit action plan after consultation with leading entrepreneurs and stakeholders. The Prime Minister also directed to facilitate and solve problems of exporters in the e commerce sector who make their products in Pakistan and export them all over the world. He said steps are being taken for optimum utilization of Pakistan's export sector potential. Shahbaz Sharif also asked the authorities concerned to submit recommendations for development of industries which manufacture the export products of global value chain. He said stakeholders of export sector should be taken into confidence for promotion of exports of IT, household products, textiles and other sectors. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has constituted a committee to address problems faced by Gilgit Baltistan. He announced formation of the committee during a meeting with the Chief Minister Gilgit Baltistan, Gulbar Khan, who called on him in Islamabad today. The Prime Minister directed the committee to submit its recommendations after consultation on all issues. Shahbaz Sharif also directed the construction of Danish schools in all three divisions of Gilgit Baltistan. He said Danish schools are being established in the region for the boys and girls belonging to poor families. These schools will provide international quality education to children as well as accommodation facilities. The Prime Minister said development of the people of Gilgit Baltistan and provision of health and education facilities to them is first priority of government. Shahbaz Sharif directed to accelerate work on the completion of Atabad and Harpo hydropower projects. The meeting was informed that completion of these projects will ensure uninterrupted power supply in Gilgit Baltistan. The Prime Minister was informed that the construction of Naltar Expressway has been completed, which will play a key role in development and prosperity of the region. The Prime Minister also directed to prepare an action plan regarding development of tourism and solar energy projects in Gilgit Baltistan. Minister for Industries and Production Rana Tanvir Hussain has directed the Utility Stores Corporation to ensure the quality of flour and other utility items. During a review meeting regarding Ramadan package in Islamabad today, he said no compromise should be made on recommended standard and quality of utility items. The minister also directed the corporation to overcome any loophole in this regard. According to the spokesperson of the ministry, a total of 12.5 billion rupees have been fixed for Ramadan package. Over 10 million bags of 10 kilograms flour will be distributed under this package, out of which 8.2 million bags have already been distributed. A total of 35,000 metric tons of sugar was procured under this package, out of which 27,000 metric tons has been distributed. Over 15,000 metric tons of ghee has also been distributed under the Ramadan package. Isaac Dar of PMLN and Rana Mahmoudul Hassan of PPP have been elected senators. On the technocrat seat, Isaac Dar secured 222 votes, while Raja Ansar Mahmood of Sunni Tahat Council got 81 votes. On general seat, Rana Mahmoudul Hassan won 224 votes, while his rival candidate 
Farzan Hussain Shah of Sunni Ittihad Council could get 79 votes. Mossadegh Malik and Muhammad Aurangzeb were elected as senators on technocrat seats in Punjab Assembly. According to unofficial results, Mossadegh Malik received 121 votes and Muhammad Aurangzeb secured 128 votes, while their rival candidate Yasmin Rashid received 106 votes. Election Commission has decided to postpone Senate election in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa till administration of oath to members returned against reserve seats. According to notification, Electoral College is incomplete for the purpose of Senate elections due to non-administration of oath to elected members, which amounts to disenfranchisement of lawful voters and denial of level playing field to the voters. This is Radio Pakistan. An increase in IT exports is being witnessed due to policy initiatives of Special Investment Facilitation Council. According to State Bank of Pakistan's data, IT exports stood at $257 million in February, which is 32% higher than the same period last year. IT exports grew by 15% to $1.977 billion in the first eight months of current fiscal year. The Special Investment Facilitation Council has achieved 13 out of 15 targets set in last eight months, which has boosted information technology sector and led to an increase in IT exports. Analysts estimate that the country's total IT exports for current fiscal year could be between 3 to $4 billion, which is $2.6 billion higher than last year. Pakistan has unanimously been elected chairman of the United Nations Disarmament Commission. The election came at a meeting of the UN Disarmament Commission in New York. Speaking on the occasion, Deputy Permanent Representative of Pakistan to the United Nations, Osman Jadun, said the UN disarmament machinery has delivered in equally challenging times in the past and remains well equipped to do so in the present with the right amount of political will and attention. He emphasized flexible attitudes based on mutual respect and a genuine understanding of the security concerns of all to build consensus-based and inclusive solutions. China has firmly supported Pakistan's counterterrorism efforts. During regular briefing in Beijing, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin said China will provide necessary assistance in the investigation of Dasu terrorist attack. The All Parties Huriyat Conference has strongly criticized the Modi-led government for its relentless efforts to obliterate the identity and economy of the oppressed people of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. APHC spokesman Advocate Abdul Rashid Minhas in a statement in Srinagar expressed grave concern over the escalating atrocities and political injustices faced by the people in occupied territory. He highlighted that the Modi regime is actively pursuing the Hindutva agenda of Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh with the intention of altering the majority of character of the territory. He called upon Kashmiris to unite against these malicious intentions of the New Delhi government. 71 Palestinians were martyred in unabated Israeli bombardment across Gaza and Klaif during the last 24 hours. According to the Gaza Health Ministry, over 100 people injured in Israeli attacks. The martyrdom toll in Israeli aggression on Gaza has risen to over 32,900 since October 7 last year. And finally, the weather. Mainly dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, Rain, windstorm, thunderstorm is expected at isolated places in Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit Baltistan, Kashmir, and Potohar region. And now the headlines once again. Prime Minister has directed Commerce Ministry to devise an action plan to double the country's exports in the next five years. Polling on vacant seats of Senate was held in National Assembly and Provincial Assemblies of Punjab and Sindh today. Pakistan has been unanimously elected Chairman of the United Nations Disarmament Commission. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.